Hey folks, it's Troy Dooley. About a year ago, a little over a year ago, we did a report on Fortune High Tech Marketing. They just finished paying Montana a million dollars. And it just sucks, to be honest. I think it was North Dakota's, uh, Kentucky, Texas, California, Montana, swooping down on Fortune High Tech. Paul Orbison is a guy that, that I have watched from the XL days. I mean, what he's done in this profession uh, by far is, is second to none. I mean, he's been very successful. Over the, the last few years, especially, we've seen a lot of regulatory changes. A lot of attitude has changed. A lot of the way the compensation plans have been structured where they had these these upfront monies that were paid in that were then allotted out to for training or, or for this or that, you don't get away with that anymore. And in Paul's case, and at Fortune High Tech, they've got hit pretty hard. Texas just finished up um, finding them. I mean, they, Texas won, they lost $1.3 million. Uh, Paul did get it to where, you know, they didn't have to say we did anything wrong. And, and it's, it's frustrating to me as a, as a professional network marketer, somebody that loves this profession, because I think the business model is skewed. I think that at best, it's borderline legal because so much money is paid in to join the company compared to what you can make from all of their little services. And most of those services, you probably can get a better deal somewhere and because they pay so low commissions on the residual coming off cell phone or dish network or any of that, it, it really is not a savings in those aspects of things. So the states all have legitimate concerns. I, I, I wish I could tell you otherwise, but they, but they do. I have a legitimate concern because I'm, I'm looking at it thinking, this is what happened to YTB. This is what happened to Burn Lounge. I mean, when you, when you, when you play in that gray area enough, you get burnt. Now I've got to come and, and say that Paul, and, and I've said this publicly, I think Paul took the eye off the ball. I think he had some good management team in there. I think some of his family were running things and and I think he was probably doing what he does best. He was out there motivating the troops. He was out there excitement and, and wasn't maybe taking care of some things and it took him a while to answer some of the complaints early on. But now it seems like Paul is, is kind of taken back charge. Just this year, all new legal team came into play at Fortune High Tech. And there's a, there's a video that's on their website that's worth watching from their chief legal counsel. Because the chief legal counsel has said in that video that Paul has told him, whatever we got to do to get legit, I want to get legit. I don't want to lose the company. I think that's a positive thing. I've got some friends of mine that have just joined Fortune High Tech and, and when they called me I, I shared with them my concerns. I told them how much that, that I really did admire what Paul has done in this profession and some of the people at Fortune. But at the same time, man, this is this is scary because if the if the class action suits win, they're up a creek. The lawsuits in all these states don't help anything because once one or two or three states win, then the other states know they can go after you. And right now, Florida's going after them or looking into going after them, I should say that. So if you're with Fortune, don't just run and jump ship, but at least understand what it is you need to be sharing with people. Don't let them go find it on the Internet. Share with them that there are con some concerns, but we want you to watch this video from our chief legal counsel. If, if, if I was consulting with Paul Orbison and the odds of that ever happening are slim to none, I'd tell him, Paul, you got you got to be straight up with folks, man. We need to do a, a State of the Union speech here. And you got to let them know, you know what? We had some issues. We've, we're cleaning them up. We brought in a brand new legal team to handle this stuff. We're going to kick butt. We're going to take names. We're going to clean this up. We may have to change some stuff, but you hang with us, and by golly, we're going to have another good 10, 12 years. That's what it is. Okay, I, 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 they're a good, they're a DSA company. I mean, the DSA did their investigation on them, so I'm, I'm not one here to, to knock that. 
But doggone it, we, we, this is the 21st century, and we need to be living like business people. We've got to raise this accountability, the standards that are out there. We either run a legit operation or we get the heck out of network marketing, period, is what we need to do. All companies, big or small, doesn't matter. We either run it right, run it good, make sure we're following the, the, the letter of the law, and we make some money together. That's the name of the game. So I wish the best to Fortune High Tech. Don't know where that's going to run yet. I've talked to people on both sides of the fence, but jury's still out, so to speak. You know, let's just see what happens. I hope they can turn it around. I hope Paul really means that they're going to do whatever it takes with his legal counsel now to get it done right. It will be a big saving grace for those distributors. Live life like it's an epic adventure. We'll see you at the top.